Today on the channel, we guard the galaxy for the third time with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Mantis, Nebula, and Rocket Raccoon. The spirit of the warrior will run forever! Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Marvel Legends unboxing and review. And today from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, we've got Mantis, Nebula, and Rocket Raccoon. But for all your Marvel Legends needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% and anything over $59 does ship free. Gotta get a deal. And these are hitting everywhere right now uh, as we prepare for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And the cool thing about this set that I keep saying, of course we unboxed Drax and Star-Lord already and Groot Deluxe figure. I love the uniformity of this set. I love that everybody's in their team costumes. I'm a big fan of that, and that's what we get here in uh, the, most of these figures from this wave, so I think that is really, really cool. But of course, we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other ones here on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. We're going to do ladies first, and I guess we'll start with old Nebula here, the daughter of Thanos, of course. Nebula looking good, a very light figure, as you can imagine here. But you get that front there, uh, plastic-free packaging. For now, it's coming back, as we do know. But you got the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 logo, Legends logo. Build a figure, Cosmo. How about that one? Uh, to be decided, to be determined on that one is really the answer there. But there is Cosmo in all her dog glory, looking good. Looking like a dog in space, really. And then you get the checklist on the side. Nothing too fun there. And then you get a little glamour shot on the side over here. Then the back, you get the UPCs, all the gibberish down at the bottom. You get the Cosmo Build-A-Figure piece. You get some accessories. You get the figure. And there it is. No blurbs, man. I hope when the plastic comes back, they can bring the blurbs back. Wouldn't that be something? I'd be here for that. But maybe uh, we'll see. We'll see if that's in the card. So there you go. See you later, old Nebula. And what do we got here? Cardboard. See you later. Spider-Man style. Bam. See you later. And parchment paper. Everybody loves the parchment paper. Sure. Why, sure, why not? Why not? Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, parchment paper. Get out of here. Goodbye. See you later. Double whammy. Put Nebula off to the side. And we, of course, get another arm leg for Cosmo here. So Cosmo will build him at the end of the week, of course. We're going to build the build a figure. And then we will rank the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. So make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss that video. And then we get some extra pieces here. We get some extra accessories. Get a little silver pistol here, all in one color, a very, very small one. Don't want to lose that. And unfortunately, there is nowhere to store that on her, which is a little bit disappointing, I think, honestly. So we have that. And then we get her big old gun here, the big old blaster gun. And really disappointing. Looking at her hands here, there's no extra hands. You get one gripping hand, and you get one splayed out hand. So we don't have two gripping hands. The option for two gripping hands should be here if you have two weapons, or at least a place to store one of the weapons. What are we doing, Hasbro? I would have liked to have seen that. But all silver here, a little bit gummy in the in the weapon department, but all in silver here, but a big old mean gun. I wouldn't want to mess with this one, that is for sure. And then I guess we do get an extra hand, kind of, kind of an extra hand, as it is a bladed hand here. It just plugs into the hand hole. Uh, you got the nice kind of uh, saw blade on the end here, nice silver in the between. Not sure if that red is supposed to designate heat. Maybe it's a heated blade. Who knows? But you pop the hand out. You pop this in. I'll probably end up using this because it's so different than the other Nebula figures we have. So we do have that. But now getting down to Nebula. Obviously a female figure. A very small figure. The head sculpts though on these are tremendous. I think they do a very good job on the head sculpt so far of what I've seen in this set. Definitely looks like Nebula. Very stoic look on her face. I mean, it does look about right. You got the Smurf blue color with the purple down the middle. Uh, and then you got some of the uh, wires kind of on the side of her head as well. Definitely is Nebula. I think most people would know it's Nebula if you popped the head off and showed it to somebody. She does have her robot arm over here off to the side. And then you got a regular arm here with a nice gloved hand in black uh, looking pretty good. Do have the black belt and then the uniform. We've seen this uniform on all these Guardians figures so far. Looking really, really nice here. Uh, no issues with the body, any paint or anything like that. The paint is really good. No problems there. I don't see any issues across the board here. But let's walk through the articulation real quick. Head, back, forth, side, side, up and down. Usual suspects in the articulation department there. Arms going to go all the way around. Do have a bicep cut, double jointed, pinless elbows, the hits being played once again, hands removable, hands back, far side to side. Of course, you got the hula hoop for a waist, 
Traditional waist? Nope, no traditional ones. So you just get the female hula hoop at the top. Tons of movement there. You do get those big old nebula splits. If she needs to do a balance beam competition or something like that or a dismount, she can definitely do that. You do get a thigh cut. Double jointed pinless knees. How about that? The hits keep on continuing with part two. And you got a boot cut and then ankles back and forth side to side. So usual articulation here. But nice to see all pinless joints on this one. And just a cool suit as well. I really, you guys know, I'm a sucker for these suits. And does she fit? On a ringside collectible stand, use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. And what do you know? She fits on the ringside Mattel ringside collectible stands. Fits perfectly right there. So I like what I see with that one. So now we're going to turn our attention to the next female. We're going females over animals. That's what we're doing here. We got Mantis today. Marvel's Mantis, not to be confused. And I believe... Uh, what is it? Is she like Star-Lord's half-sister or something? Didn't we find that out in that Christmas episode? Uh, I think that's the case. I watched it once, like most things, and sometimes it sticks, sometimes it doesn't, but I think that was the case. Same packaging design, plastic-free, big glamour shot in the front, Guardians Volume 3, Marvel Legends, Cosmo Build-A-Figure. There's old Cosmo and the checklist on the side. Nice glamour shot there from her senior portrait, I think. Senior year of college, actually. I should not get that mistaken with high school. On the bottom there, you got the jibber-jabber. You got the UPCs. Then you got the background there with the little glamour shot once again. The Cosmo Build-A-Figure, all those bells and whistles. Once again, female figure, very light figure here. And it looks like we have no accessories with this one. What are we doing? Nothing with this. Is that true? Is that possible? I don't know. That's what I feel like. And we've talked about this in the other ones. I feel like the Groot Deluxe figure really should have probably been, see you later, really should have been the build a figure of this one. I feel like they didn't really quite give us our money's worth on this set like some of the others. See you later once again. Pull her out of the plastic prison. There it is. Bam. See you later. Spider-Man style. See you later. And then another parchment piece for Cosmo the dog. I don't know. I don't know, guys. See you later. Uh, so we got another Cosmo piece, and then that's it. I just, uh, something doesn't smell right. Doesn't pass the litmus test here. Of course, we're going to get into Rocket Raccoon here, a very small figure. Rocket should have been uh, packaged with Cosmo. They should have been a two-in-one pack, and then give us Groot as the, the Build-A-Figure. Put the hands with Groot uh, for Groot in here. You can put the big torso piece with Mantis since we have nothing else in here. It just feels like they didn't do it uh, fan-friendly as they could have done. And I understand all the business stuff. You guys know me. But it really, I, I can look past a lot of things, maybe more than the average Joe can. But really here, it just doesn't doesn't quite feel right. And maybe that's just me. You guys can sound off in the comments down below. But let's take a look at Mantis here. Uh, a small figure, female figure once again. Uh, the winner on this one really is the head sculpt. And this is, I think I talked about in the last video. Of course, if you're a G.I. Joe fan, you remember there was some G.I. Joe troop builders that had very similar outfits to this. You could easily pop the head off here, pop a different female head, and really be a Cobra Trooper, a female Cobra Trooper if you really wanted to. But the bells and whistles of this figure really is the head with the antennas going on there, the big eyes, uh, good hairdo, just a good looking head sculpt on this. And really, that's kind of where it ends. Besides that, it's really paint by numbers, uh, uniform suit. Probably not too much different than this one. I mean, it is. It is the exact same outside of the arms, the body, uh, the boots, everything else is identical, which I guess it should be. It's a matching uniform, but. It really feels like they got the most out of their molds in the same series. And with no accessories here, limited accessories here, the whole build-a-figure thing, it just feels like they tried to do some smoke and mirrors a little bit. I mean, that's that's where my gut is at first on this one. But let's walk through the articulation once again. Arms all the way around. Very tight arms on her. It feels good. Uh, bicep cut. Double-jointed pinless elbows playing the hits. You do get the hands back and forth side to side. She does got the uh, two fingers up here. Uh, so she's getting after that there, so that looks okay. Hula hoop, of course. And you get the big old splits as well. If she needs to do a gymnastics competition against Nebula, she can. You get thigh cut, double jointed knees, of course. Boot cut, ankles back, forth, side to side. So usually uh, all the uh, hits being played as far as articulation goes. But really doesn't feel super, super special with Nebula being in the same series. Would have liked to, and so far out of the ones, this is the one that needed a little bit more bells and whistles. Needed a little bit something more to it. Is it just... Feels very, very plain Jane for a $25 or so price point for basically just this and a, a little bit of a leg for a dog. I don't know. I don't know on that one. But does she fit on a ringside collectible stand? I would imagine she would if Nebula does. And what do you know? She does. So there you go. Discount code Kyle. Save 10%. Make sure you do get the Mattel stand, as I always say. And we're going to finish it off with a hairy bipedal creature. We're going to finish it off with Rocket Raccoon. Love me some animated... Uh, I guess not animated, but live action, animated, whatever you want to call them, raccoons. I'm here for it all day long. 
I love stuff like this. You guys know it uh, almost feels like an Ewok in, in some ways. But Guardians Galaxy Volume 3, Marvel Legends, Cosmo Build-A-Figure, big picture on the front. Same checklist we've seen. Here's old Rocket looking only like a rocket could look if he was in Guardians Galaxy Volume 3. And then the back of the package there, you get the UPC, you get the warnings, all that kind of stuff down low. And then you do get the Build-A-Figure piece and some weapons with Rocket here. But let's pull Rocket out and see what all the fuss is about. But let me tell you, there's always fuss about a hairy bipedal creature. See you later. Goodbye. Cardboard, come on out, cardboard. There we go. See you later. Off to the side. And what do we got here? What do we got? Let's get him out of this cardboard prison. Maybe. There we go. There we go. See you later. Up high. Goodbye. Parchment paper. We got one weapon there. We've got Rocket. Rocket's got a robe on. He looks like he just got out of the shower. He's ready to go. But we got the double, double parchment paper prison. What's that all about? I don't think we've seen that before. And he's even taped up, too. They want to protect Rocket even more. So extra protection on Rocket. Then we got the bigger... <laughs> This is what I don't like right here. So there it is. Let me get all this. Let me get all this parchment paper. Give the old see you later. Goodbye. But look at this. You get the build a figure piece is way bigger than Rocket. That just doesn't feel right. I feel like this should have been with Mantis for sure uh, if they were going to do something like that. But then I guess how would you ever sell Rocket Raccoon on his own? I don't know. I really have a hard time stomach in this one. I really feel like these two should have been a, a pack together. Uh, you could have Mantis with no accessories, nothing else. Throw Cosmo in here. Mantis, she could have came with, you know, the fist of Groot or whatever you want to do. But really feels like these two should have been a two-pack together. I don't know. You guys tell me, but really does feel a little bit strange uh, this way here. But there it is. There's old Cosmo. We'll talk about him at the end of the week. And, of course, we'll rank this entire wave from my least favorite to my favorites. We do get Rocket's big old blaster gun here. We've seen, I think, this one before. Maybe it was in silver last time. I can't really remember. But it's all in black this time. Looking really nice. Big heavy-duty uh, blaster gun for a little raccoon. Something just really cool about something like that. So we do like to see that. Now we get down to Rocket Raccoon, and man, I don't know. It, it is a figure, but boy, is it a figure. It really feels like an accessory, but a very cool accessory, as I love a hairy bipedal creature. I love Rocket Raccoon. He looks really good with his cute little raccoon head. I like what I see there. He does got the tail. It's got the posability on the tail as well. Tail does come off, so be careful of that. Plugs right in his hole. There's a lot of hole talk in these Guardians uh, reviews here, but you can put that right in his hole in his back. <laughs> so you can stick that in there. But he does have the uniform, which I think is a nice touch. Really unifying that team when he's wearing the outfit as well. Really like to see that. Head side to side, back and forth, a little bit of movement there. Arms go all the way around. No bicep cut, but you do get pinless joints, single jointed pinless joints. Hands back and forth, side to side. Waist articulation. Uh, nope, no traditional waist, but you do get the hula hoop at top. You do get a thigh cut on him. You do get single jointed knees, and they are uh, pinless as well. And then ankles back and forth, side to side. So you do get some mobility out of him. I don't think he's going to fit on a ringside collectible stand. He does got a little bit of hole, but his hole, unfortunately, too small. Too small of a hole on Rocket here, so he's not going to fit on a stand there. But man, I don't know. I don't know how you justify this for $25. It's just... Feels a little bit much, and like I keep saying, I'm a broken record, but I think Cosmo and him should be packaged together as a true figure. Had that big group figure as the build of figures, the way they should have done this line. I think it would have been a lot more palatable to a lot of people out there. But we'll see what happens. We'll see how uh, the majority of people uh, get around this set. Will it go to deep clearance like Black Panther and some of the other waves, or will it be successful? I guess time will tell in the end. But very cool at the end of the day. I am a sucker for this Rocket Raccoon. I am happy I have this. I just don't like the way they went about it. And that's the best I can do right now as far as opinion. But more to come as usual. But what are your thoughts on Mantis, Nebula, and Rocket Raccoon? Do you agree with what I'm saying? Or you got opinions of your own? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some. Yes, and then some. And even more content, including early access to videos like this over on the Patreon channel. Truly your best way to support the channel and all the content. You can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget to hit me up on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Rocket Raccoon, Mantis, and Nebula, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.